Hey everybody, over here again today with me and Josh on another Josh and Chuck's Excellent Adventure. And I've stumbled up upon something pretty neat and I thought I'd share it with you. It's an old house site and it's a, way, a lot of gnats. And uh, it's an old house site and I'm going to show you how you can tell it's a house site. First of all, we'll come over here and we'll find, show you these foundation rocks. Right here's one and they just go in a straight line. All the way over here. And then it must have had another room right here because it splits right here. And comes over to this way, I think. But those are the foundation stones. And right here in the right in the middle is a bunch of rocks just laying on top of each other in the middle of the woods for no reason. See all those rocks? Just, that's the uh Remnants of the chimney. After the house fell down, so did the chimney. And all that's left here are these foundation stones and the chimney remnants. But I thought I'd share with y'all that. With y'all, uh, yeah, here's another room right here. And uh, we're going to detect around here. If we find something good, we'll let you know. Stuck this here, I ain't sure what it is. It's a big oval piece of brass that's connected to a smaller thinner piece of brass it's about mm, maybe two inches long half an inch wide three quarter of an inch wide I'm not sure what it is it's old i don't see anything written on the big written on the big uh brass piece but i'll clean it up and my ass i'm on it probably don't but anyway if you know what it is let me know all right then All right, Josh, what you got? See, he's got a two-piece button. Didn't look military, but it's decorative. I'll let you... That's a nice gold gilt on it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, wow, that's... Got a shank. I don't think that's an iron back, either. I don't know why I was running up so high. That might be military, but. No. I don't know. About the right size for a Confederate button. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'd take it. Yeah. Got the shank intact. Well, got a decent one here. It's uh over here next to this tree. This old we we believe this is to be a really old house site. Got a toe tap. Yeah, that's what that is. That would either go on the back of a hill or the tip of a boot, and uh. It saved the leather on the shoes for a while because it cost a lot of money to get shoes cobbled back then. And uh, so they put these brass tips on their heel and their uh, toe to save the leather. And that's what that is. All right, let's go get something good. All right, I got something pretty good here. It's pretty interesting at least. Looks like it might be Superman's great great grandfather's padlock. Tell it's got the keyhole in the middle, and this is the hatch part that would have come over here to the other part of the lot. But I've never, me and Josh both said, ain't never seen a Superman shaped padlock. It's pretty neat. I just thought I'd show you all that. This part, oh yeah, and this this part's brass, and the swing part iron. I never seen the one that still had to, would still swing. Neat. We'll be back. I have a really old piece of brass about running my ears off on the AT Pro about 80. It was solid 80 like it was going to be a, a nice dime or something. But eh, I don't know what this is. It's old though. I mean I ain't going to throw it back or anything. But it's, uh, it's definitely old. 
y'all know what it is let me know because i ain't got a clue looks like it's got a line that goes across the top of the ball shape it's uh it's like hollow in the inside at least four ways i don't know y'all tell me i sure would appreciate it adios got something pretty good here it's uh pretty common but they're always good fun let you know this uh how old the place is it's just a really old harmonica reed it's got like it was bent in half so that's a small harmonica it's neat i always like i'm i play music and i always like finding musical instrument stuff especially old stuff to help metal detecting my buddy josh dug a banjo tensioner and uh i told him he could give it to me if he wanted but he didn't go for it but that's what i got <clears throat> let's go find some more there's some more good stuff in here i know i believe i have dug the world's smallest harmonica reed i ain't kidding this thing's tiny but it's a harmonica reed let me show you what i got this Look at that. See the notches in it where the reeds go? But look, it ain't. Let me see if I do this. It's smaller than my thumbnail. Have y'all ever seen one like that? That's a first on me. I gotta show Josh this. Nah, dang. That's a tiny on my. Shoot. I'll take it. I, don't, I ain't never found one before, but I'll sure take it. All right, then. Got something pretty cool here. It's a rains guide. It's been up, but it's a rains guide. And what this did was it went in between. It get led the reins of a, a wagon in between, so it'll you know go into the horses, different horses. It's hard to explain. It's like they'll it sit in the front, and the reins would go up from the uh, driver's hands through the here and to the horses but uh that's what it is been up range guy sweet looks look like it was silver plated or something awesome let's go get it i have got silver check this out looks like some kind of charm or bracelet it's got hearts on it but that's silver no doubt about it I found a similar one in Charleston. Huh? I found a similar one in Charleston. Does he think it's old? It was made somewhere. I think it's old. Looks like it's old. Oh, cool. Awesome. Glad to have that. Got something pretty cool here. I've never dug one before, but I know exactly what it is. It is part of a bale. Look at that. That's awesome. It's like a bale where it'd come out like this. A small bale. I sure take it. That is neat. Trying to see if it had anything on it. Hmm. Only thing would be better if it was the whole thing. Well, let's go get some more. I was digging over here about an hour ago and I found a piece of a bale over there. And I just came back, just go across it again and found another piece to it. There's two pieces to it. That I found the whole thing, but hey, that's pretty, I thought that's pretty cool. All right. We'll holler at you in a little bit. That's something neat here. I don't know what it is. It's, it's brass. That's some kind of opening in the on the, in the middle of it. And there's a hook right here. I'm not sure what it is. It's neat and it's old. It was something at one time. 
If you know, let me know. Let's get back at it. All right. Well, Josh just said the S word, so he's found something pretty cool, which he seems to always do. He has found a brass pistol barrel off a flintlock gun. No, it's or percussion. Percussion? Yeah, well, I meant, yes, what I meant. Uh, good Lord, that's neat. It's got a crown on it. Or does it? No. That's just a hole. Okay. It probably does. Mm -hmm. It may have markings on it, though. Once I clean it up. Sweet right there, bro. That's a find of a lifetime. You can mark that one off. Yep. I don't know if it's on there or not, but. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw one like it a week or so ago. Somebody dug. Really? Man, what did it ring up? 83 solid. Like you thought it was probably can solved it. Yeah, but being that this site's this old, you can't ignore those. Oh, I know. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it a. Could have been a plate, too. So. Yeah, I got a signal, something like that right there. It's kind of overload, but it's, you know, solid signal. I'm going to go dig it up. Way to go, Josh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, pistol barrel. I found a pistol barrel about two weeks ago, but it was a toy.